Hi everyone, um, welcome back. And today we're going to talk about skin. Now, there's nothing worse than everybody on YouTube and things like that and on blogs claiming to have all of your, you know, solutions to acne. You know, you watch this video and tomorrow, if you do everything I tell you to do, you will not have acne. Now, that's not realistic, so basically, my tips and tricks for acne. Um, are to do with your everyday routine and just being a bit more aware of what you're doing and how changing some things can help to prevent acne. So let's jump into it, let's not have a crazy intro. Okay, okay. so my number one tip for people with acne prone skin or acne, um, no matter what type of acne you have, I'm gonna say Drink water. Drink loads and loads and loads of water. Everyone claims it and everyone says it, but it's so true. If you drink a lot of water, you're clearing out your body, you're clearing out your skin, and you're gonna have a bit more clear complexion. Now people say, I do, I drink water. I drink water all the time. But I'm gonna say, ditch your fizzy drinks, ditch your soft drinks, because they have lots of sugar in them, and they have lots of, you know, glucose syrups and things like that. And they're not good for your skin. If anything, they're going to dehydrate your skin. Um, so I'm claiming that water is the best thing ever. Make water your new best friend. If you want something a bit more fizzier, then have sparkling water, which is what I do. If I'm out, I'm having dinner, then I'll go for sparkling water. I'm like, woohoo, there's some bubbles. It's exciting. And I drink a ton and ton of water every single day just because it's going to clear out my skin. Now guys, I actually do have acne prone skin. I do get spots and things like that. I'm sitting in front of a camera and I have a light and you won't believe it actually because my natural light is not very good today and I've got a light here and light here and you know what? It makes my skin look a lot better. I do not have good skin. I have large pores, I have blackheads, I have spots. You know, we all have them so you know. We've got to do everything we can to prevent them. So, a lot of water. My good days come from drinking loads and loads of water. The second thing I'm going to say is, is that make sure you take off all your makeup before you go to bed. If I come home and I know that I live with my boyfriend and he just sees me without makeup and he just has to deal with the fact that I look different when I don't have makeup on. So, I generally come home when I come home from work and I don't even care if I take the dog out to the park or whatever. It doesn't really matter. I take my makeup off. I take it off because I know that I am terrible when it comes to just before I go to bed taking off my makeup. I do it when I get home. Um, and sometimes, you know, I make sure that I take off my makeup, but sometimes I don't and sometimes I do sleep with my makeup on and it's a terrible thing because it just sets you right back. I wake up the next day and my skin looks terrible, it looks tired, it looks, I've got large pores, all the makeup sunk in and it's disgusting and I tend to have to do a couple of face masks when I do that. Which moves me on to my next thing. If you sleep with your makeup on in your bed and then the next night, obviously you sleep in your bed, the next night you don't. You're like, I'm so good, oh, look, I've taken off all my makeup. I hate to tell you, unless you've washed your pillowcases, you have makeup on your pillowcases and it's not going to be good because it's going to be rubbing on your skin all night. So make sure you wash your pillowcases and especially if you sleep with your makeup on, make sure you wash your pillowcase that day. Which moves me on again to my next discovery. I love this thing. It's called Detol and it is a laundry cleanser and it's antibacterial. Now this is amazing because it gets, I'm looking at my pillowcases, this is ridiculous, isn't it? Really get a grip. Um, basically, I make sure I put this in with my clothes, with my bed sheets, um, anything, you know, my towels and things like that because it makes them clean it makes me know that they're clean they're it's antibacterial and you just put two capsules in with your wash with your normal detergent your normal softener and things like that and you know it's going to be clean so you know your pillowcases and your bed sheets and your towels and everything is going to be clean best friend okay and the cleaning and the hygiene and things like that make sure i'm really having a bad day today make sure that you clean your brushes your makeup brushes, there's nothing worse than using a makeup brush over and over and over again because it's going to make it harder to wash actually. Um, 
but also it's getting all of your skin cells, all your dead skin cells in it, and you're just putting them on your skin and they're dirty, you may have touched them with your hand like I am just now, and you know, they're gonna be dirty, you're just gonna be putting dirty product on your face and it's not very good, so make sure that you wash them. If you're like me and you're a bit of a clean phobia freak kind of person, which I'm proud of, I don't care, I don't think it's a bad thing, I think I'm proud of it, um, I use the MAC cleanser every single day on my brushes, which I'm just about to do just now, actually after this video, um, and I wash them once a week as well with some baby shampoo. If you want to see how I do that, I'll leave a link below and you can go and watch that video. Moving on again, your hands. Now, your hands touch everything. They touch your face, they touch your door handles when you're out, if you're maybe travelling to school or whatever, and you're in school and you're touching things and then you touch your face, it's really not good. So um, I recommend carrying a little sanitizer with you. Basically this one is from Bath and Body Works, but you can pick them up at anywhere. You can pick them up at Zipper Drug, Boots, any like cosmetic shop like that. Um, you know, your, your grocery stores, whatever. You can pick them up like loads. And so you know that if you're touching your face and you're using this, then you're not really spreading germs and it's pretty good because that is the number one thing that used to happen to me at school. I would be bored in class. If I was in a class that I really didn't like, um, which actually I'm trying to think of, wasn't really that many. I quite enjoyed classes. Um, maybe craft and design or technical or anything. I didn't like the, those classes, but I used to sit like this all the time and I would get spots around my chin really badly. Um, and I know they say that's hormonal, but also it can be the bacteria as well. So, make sure you take a hand sanitizer around with you and that you wash your hands throughout the day as needed. Okay, I'm going to move on to what you put into your body. Most people need to take a vitamin. Um, when growing up and going to the doctors and things like that, because I had acne, and I actually produced quite a lot of oil, I had quite a lot of oily skin, um, my doctor told me to take zinc. Um, he said that I actually lacked zinc in my diet. Um, so I make sure that I take like a multivitamin every single day just so that I'm getting zinc and things like that into my body. I don't really know the whole gist um, of zinc but I'm gonna, I'll, you know, I'm gonna figure it all out and I'll link below to my blog as well because I'm gonna do like a whole blog um, on acne and how to deal with it. So take a vitamin. So moving on to what I use, some of the products that I use in my skincare routine, I'm going to do a proper skincare routine, but just a few things that I think would help you um, is a cleanser. I use the Cetaphil, you may be seeing this in my monthly favourites, it's a really really good cleanser, it's good for being gentle on your skin because you don't want it to be harsh on your skin, um, you know, you don't want to rub away at it, your skin's quite sensitive and it doesn't really need to be you know, scrub that all the time. That's okay, dokie. If you have active acne and you know you're going through, you know, a really bad breakout or anything like that, then I recommend the. This is really disgustingly dirty. I need to clean this. The Dermalogica Clear Start Breakout Clearing Foaming Wash. This is really really good. It's got salicylic acid in it, which really gets out, cleans out your pores, takes away all the dead skin cells, gets away all the oils and things like that that you may produce um, and it's got tea tree, lavender, I think it's got chamomile, orange peel in it which is just really really good for your skin. So I would recommend using this and it foams up amazingly and I'm nearly, I'm about halfway through this, I love it to bits. Now exfoliating your skin, um, I'm a kind of person that I will exfoliate my skin probably about twice a week. Um, mostly when I'm in the shower, which is kind of weird, but I guess all the hot water opens up your pores, you know, there's there's a logic to it. Um, but when I use it, I'm going to link what it is because it's in the shower and I can't bother going to get it. And I'll insert a picture probably like here or something like that. It's the Yes to Grapefruit um, Exfoliator. It's really, really good. It was in another one of my monthly favourites if you want to see that. Um, and I also use these little facial loofahs as well. These are from Boots, they're from a botanic range. They are really good for exfoliating your skin. It's been everywhere. They puff up in the water. They're really good for just, you know, being a bit gentle on your skin and exfoliating. They're amazing, they're really good. Something like that, and maybe along with your exfoliator, just really gets in there and clears it out. But remember, be really gentle and pat your face dry. 
with the towel don't rub at it because it's just gonna you know you've already rubbed at your skin um just be a bit more gentle with your skin on to face mask so one of the ones that i like it's from the drugstore and it's the soap and glory no clogs allowed this stuff is really really good it's a self-heating mask and it's just so good it's quite exfoliating as well so um if you're gonna use this and i'd recommend maybe not exfoliating the day that you use it um, because it's really really good you just put it on wet your hands and rub it in and leave it on for five minutes it's one of those ones if you're not good at leaving a face mask on for a while because you think it's itchy and you know and you want to touch your nose you want to touch your eyebrows or whatever and you don't want to smudge it everywhere then these are pretty good because they're only on for five minutes Another face mask that i like is a bit more of a high-end or product it's from origins and it's their clear improvement active charcoal mask to clear pores i love this to bits um, it is pretty expensive, I think it's 22 or £25. Pounds. Um, you do get a lot of product for it, it's 100ml, which I'm quite impressed about. Um, but I think this one is like about £10, £8, or £8 or £10, pounds, and I think you get 100ml as well. So it's like half the price, or more than half the price actually. Really. Um, yeah, this one you probably leave on a bit more. I think I leave it on sometimes for about 20 minutes. It's got white china clay, absorbs all the purities and lifts them out and cleans out your skin as well. So it's pretty good um, and I really, really like it. I think it's absolutely amazing. Because it is a bit more expensive, I tend to just dab it on the places that I know I need it. So I'll put it about here, down my nose, on my chin and just here because I tend to have more large pores there as well and break out. So, yeah. Okay, everybody, that is all my tips and tricks um, at the moment for clearing up acne and just preventing it as well. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a good old thumbs up and tell me in the comments below any of your tips and tricks for acne that I maybe haven't covered. And thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!